Let's continue with another example. Here we have absolute value. Again, we have the absolute value isolated on the left hand side already. Less than or equal to a, num a positive number, a positive 7. So we can just go ahead and then take out the absolute value, put it inside in the middle, 4 over 5x minus 1, and then put this in the middle of 7, and then on the left hand side we have negative 7. Okay. And then keep in mind, when you are dealing with a less than case, absolute value is less than a positive number, at the end, for the graph, you should just have one piece graph, okay, just one like segments, one interval. Okay, now let's just um, solve this. 4 over 5x minus 1, I will need to add a 1 to cancel out this minus 1, plus 1 here, plus 1 here, and also plus 1 on all three sides. Negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6, we have less than or equal to 4 over 5x, and then that's less than or equal to 7 plus 1, which is equal to 8. So we have here 4 over 5x, right? So 4 over 5 times x, to isolate the x, what we need to do is multiply by the reciprocal of 4 over 5. In another word, multiply by 5 over 4. And if we multiply by this, the upside down, right, the reciprocal, we see that this 5 and that 5 cancels out and this 4, that 4 cancels out. We will just have an x left by itself in the middle and that's exactly what we want. But then we also have to make sure we multiply by 5 over 4 um, right here, multiply by 5 over 4 here and also let me put a multiply by 5 over 4 here. Okay. It doesn't matter like if you put it in the front or putting it in the back, depends on whichever is more convenient. Alright, so x is in the middle. Now let's work out this. Negative 6 times 5 over 4. Well, negative 6, we can write that as negative 6 over 1. Cross cancel first. 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 goes into 6 three times. So on the top, I have negative 3 times 5. We have negative 15. Over on the bottom, we have 2, I mean we have 1 times 2, which is the result of 2. And then since we multiply by a positive number, we didn't need to, in, uh, we didn't need to switch the inequality. Okay, so we just maintain this inequality, and then we also maintain this inequality 5 over 4 times 8. We can write this as 8 over 1. Again, cross cancel. One, uh, 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 8 twice and we just have 5 times 2, which is 10. So we did it. x is in the uh, middle and it's isolated, nothing else. In between of two numbers, and notice that the smaller number is on the left hand side. So, perfect. Get to graph. Number line, include, uh, indicate where the 0 is first. Uh, put down negative 15 over 2, let's say it's right there. And then let's say, Maybe 10 is somewhere right there. You don't need to draw all the little lines, but um, you need to make a mark. If you can just say this is negative 15 over 2, then that's uh, good enough. Here we have less than or equal to, so we want to include the endpoint. So, first way to graph it, just by using a closed circle, and the x is in the middle, so you color the inside. This is just the first way. The second way, 0 in the middle, negative 15 over 2 here, positive 10 here. Instead of using open, instead of using, um, open or closed circles, we can use parentheses or brackets. We have less than or equal to. And this little line right there should uh, remind you the uh, vertical line, right? So you should use the square bracket, like the straight line right here, right? So this line and that line. Man, we can somehow associate them uh, with each other. So brackets when we have less than or equal to, put brackets. Color in the middle, just like this one. Then interval notation, interval notation, 
and if you choose to go, um, do the graph in this way, you are pretty much done. Write down the left endpoint first, which is negative 15 over 2. Put a comma, the right endpoint, which is 10. And then for interval notation, you have to use either parentheses or brackets. So that's why I said if you choose use to if you choose to use parentheses or brackets for the graph, right here you are done. We can just take the bracket down like that. 